a lot of my life I grew up in the shadow of my dad. You know, and I'm so proud to say that the other day someone went up to my dad and said, Ah, yeah, copies papa, Abby. <laughs> you know, so I feel like I'm building my own brand for myself. And you have to create that. You know, you have to keep pushing. Thank you guys. Hi guys, hello, welcome to Niger BBB. I am her royal freshness, and as you know, I'm born, bred, and bottom in Nigeria. Okay, so there's no light. It's really, really hot. Now we know this is a constant problem in Nigeria. There's never any light. You know, so I just got home. I had like this really hot, you know, Niger jello with beef. And like with meat. We call it meat here. With meat and of course plantain. And then I'm doing this. I'm using this to fan myself. So for those of you that do not know, Friday the 30th of March was the day the Youth Enterprise Conference 2018 held. So it actually just held, so I'm correct. And I went, I attended the event. It was hosted by Aki Alagi. And they had a lot of, you know, frontliners, a lot of people that came to talk to the youth. Now, apparently this is um, an avenue for you to actually sit down and learn from other youths, you know, other young people, men and women, how they manage their business, how they worked hard, how they, you know, got into where they are at the moment. And I was kind of privileged to be there, truthfully. I did not know about it. Well, my younger sister was the one who just called me last night. I was like, last week, I was like, there's something they're doing. Would you like to go? I'm like, oh, no problem. And then she sent my email and I got the emails. And, you know, so it was a great show. Did I just say show? <laughs> it was a great event. I loved it. Now, I'm going to talk about the highs and talk about the lows. Now, the highs. First of all, everybody that climbed to the stage kept saying the same thing, and I have to say it too. Sometimes, even when things are free in Nigeria, it is even hard to get people to come. But somehow, the whole hall was filled. And last I heard from the the video started below contest, that hall sits about three thousand people. I hope I have my facts right. So, about three thousand youths from all around Nigeria found their way to and sweets for a seminar it does not happen in nigeria when it's not a school environment so it was really good and i have to you know commend them it was great and then i got there a little late because i was a little under the weather but by the time i got there apparently some people had been given the opportunity to spend the night at the hotel they were giving their tea fair back to sokoto from which they came so it was really really nice i can you did a great thing so everybody can get this opportunity to do that so that being said, everybody, you know, sat down. We we're hoping to hear from every, you know, young Nigerians who have done great things and people from different industries in Nigeria came. But there's something I realized. Most of the people that spoke have, you know, some kind of connection to the entertainment industry. So I'm going to be talking, I have a note that I took down things that were said. So I'm going to be doing a review of the event. So, when I got in, Desmond Elliott, actor turned politician, was speaking. So, and he's such a great, he's such a great motivator. So he was talking, and everybody was applauding. We all enjoyed him. So, um, after him came a series of comedian who came and talked, and they tried to sell us some books. And then we had a panel. I, I think this is where kind of, you know, because I'm going to be doing the good with the bad. So this is where I kind of got it. Let me use it. Now, it's in the sense that after this, when Elliot spoke, he was, you know, like, thank you very much for talking. I kind of became thanks him for coming. So he was, you know, he had to leave the stage and leave it for some other people. But as I was going down, they were like, if you have a question for this, when Elliot go to this side, I'm like, ah, go to which side, Bao? So the guy is by my like, I know that look at the other side, that's Shola. And that apparently that's another person that had just spoken. So if you wanted to ask him a question, you have to go to a corner to talk to him. I don't think that was right. They divided the venue. So that's just one of the divided venues. And then, you know, Upi Franklin, Biola Kazim, Jas, Jasfet, Omodua, and Jikapi, the part of the panel. So for the panel, they had people write out questions on a sheet of paper and then, you know, they put out. The people that spoke were really good. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. I learned a thing or two from them. I didn't even have faces to, you know, Omojua. I didn't, you know, I've never met him. Most of the pictures we see on Google is not who I saw in real life today. 
So we know that pictures fly. I'm not saying he's not graceful or he's not nice looking boy. You go on, man. So, um, and then Kazim Viola, I had never ever, probably because I'm not a sport person, he's a sports commentator, but because we like do a lot of reading, I should know who Viola Kazim is, but it was good. So they really resonated well with the crowd. We understood them, we loved them, it was interesting. But I had a problem with the next speaker. Now, sometimes, most of the time in Nigeria, when people are asked to give their success story, we embellish a lot. We're always embellishing, we're always adding our own thing, saying our own thing, and people are like, ah. So this uncle came and told us how he was a mega leki, how he was using more than half of his 20000 salary to buy books. I'm like, ah, uncle, you are saving for school in Lasu. So yeah, using 10,000 naira out of 20,000 naira to buy book to read. Then you're using another 10,000 naira to save for school. I mean, how? I don't understand. But sha, somehow, somehow, from his 10,000 naira, I was able to get admission to Lasso. And then when he got to Lasso, he now got a job opportunity. And that made him leave his education. Like he turned down the admission for him to go and work there. Now, we have to speak Nigerian, guys. How viable is that? We know that some people are very radical in chasing their dreams. But is that the kind of person that should come and talk to a group of very, very impressionable youths? Because I, I thought, he, like I said, very radical. He sounded very radical. But I don't know, Joe. I don't know. But that's just how I, I felt a little about it. Okay, so apart from that, you know, we had a lot of people talk. So the stage was very well you know, it was great for everybody. Um, the Njokos came from Iroko TV. Apparently, they were partners. They came and talked about movies and stuff. You know, so I had I learned so many things. I'd like to give you a few pointers of the things I learned. And I wrote down. Now, from DJ Copy, she said, use the disadvantages and setbacks that you have to your advantage and to push forward and to always work hard. So thank you, DJ. Can I learn something from you? And then there's something she said that I really liked. Oh, let me know I said. I wrote that. She said, "Being Otedola's daughter is not a career path." Thank you. People need to know that. I don't know. Everybody keeps saying DJ Copy is Otedola's daughter. That's Otedola's daughter. But she wants to be known as a woman who's working hard and striving, and you know, doing her best to make a head in the world or make a headway in the world, and I have to comment up on that. So I also learned from Japheth or Modua, despite your talent, you need legitimacy. Now this means that no matter how talented you are, no matter how good you are, you need some form of legitimate, classifying meter to say that you're good. Now he was saying this to support the fact that you do need to go to school or do a course or a seminar or something. You can't just say, oh, I'm a talented presenter and then I don't go for seminars. Or rather, I can't just say I'm a talented presenter and you know, I, I have to go for lectures. I have to go for this. I have to know, you know, the tricks and, you know, you know, the tricks and things of the tree by going and learning from other people. That's what he was trying to say. And then also... Ubi Franklin said, you have to build association and relationship with the people you could be working it with. Now, this means that if you want to be a doctor, for example, you have to go to where you see doctors. If there are five doctors and you're there, you're prob most probably going to be the sixth one. You learn, you pick some things from them that you could actually, you know, use when you're working. And then, um, Sonal said, Viola Kazim, the sports commentator said, Sometimes underestimate the resources we have while chasing what we don't have. He told us that we have time and we have energy and those are the greatest resources any entrepreneur can have. So you can actually start with that and then build on it, no matter how little. Don't let your dreams just like follow because you feel you don't have enough money, you don't have enough this, you don't have enough that. Just start, just start. And then, of course, I also learned that everywhere you're going to meet resistance in everything you do you just have to keep at it but my best part of the conference probably because i'm a media girl so i went there because i know my fellow media girl a uh, tool was going to be there and i was i had the opportunity to stand aside with her that stand aside with me 
I had the opportunity to stand aside with her and talk, and we. She, I just, I think, I just needed someone to tell me keep pushing, and she did that. So thank you to Tools. This is going on Instagram. <laughs> thank you, Tools. I really appreciate your, you know, your kind words of advice. But one of the things she taught us is that you need to find out what you do not know and learn it. No matter how talented you are, no matter how good you are, you can know everything. So if you are being truthful to yourself, you need to find out some things, some things about your chosen field, your chosen field. Find out those things you don't know about them and learn. So that, I think that was the most important thing she said. And then she said, believing that you're worthy of success is half a battle. Amen. Amen. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is what I learned from the hashtag Yego for Youth Enterprise Conference 2018. I was glad I was there. You know, so oh man, like to know the one key me. I've been at the Jello for as well. Don't forget to subscribe to this page and of course come back for so much more entertaining programs. Bye.